another examples for this one is maybe easier for the automatic tracing to, to trace. So we have a very clear starting point and we have this uh, branch. So if I use automatic tracing, I can get this result. Then I can you know, do some further uh, manual edit on these areas, which I'm not happy with the result. Okay, so this is one example. And also, for this kind of samples, if we want to calculate the lens, total lens on this, maybe this is also a neural sample, but without a clear starting point, then we still have to use the uh, threshold best algorithm. And before we do that, maybe we need to do some uh, clearing on the result using the surface because, because you can see the original channel, we have some uh, backgrounds and it's not good for the uh, filament tracer. So we use some surface to clean the result and get this more clear background channels. Then we can use the filament threshold best to, to measure the lens and do some manual uh, edit in here. Then we can get the total lens, total field uh, filament lens. Filament lens here. Okay, so we can calculate the total lens. And between different images, we can compare if there's any difference in the total lens, etc. So here, uh, yeah, we, we give the uh, different examples and the way of using the automatic and the semi-automatic uh, filament tracing to do this uh, filament, uh, the measure the length of this uh, filamental structure. So this is also similar. I have this original channels with a lot of uh, backgrounds or some unclear structure. So we use the surface to mask the main ones we want to detect. Then we use this uh, mask channel and uh, automatic filament detection. We will be able to get this result. Sometimes we just uh, start from the uh, semi-automatic tracing because maybe the image is too big or we really don't need all these uh, structures. Uh, I don't have the specific examples, but in some cases, for example, like these uh, brain images, then if you only interested in some specific, uh, the lens of some specific main uh, neurons, so we can just use the manual tracing to trace these results like this, so if I go, this is the last one I want to show, so if I go skip automatic, then I can, so example, I want to start from here, hold a shift, right click, so I can trace this result uh, here, continue, 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 shift, left click to finish. So now I can have this, single neuron uh, tracing, sort of, for example, like this, okay? And I can visualize it like this, okay? So these are uh, some examples I want to show you by uh, using the filament uh, tra tracer that you can measure uh, different filamental structures. Okay, so let's go back to here. Mm, yes, so I think I covered most of the learning objectives in our today's topic. What? So it draws, a, it looks like a surface. Um, uh -huh. So can you use that surface then to do like distance between cells to that? Uh, if we don't have the functions in the filaments to do that, but mm. uh, Based, like on, based on these filaments, right? Mm -hmm. And we yeah. can go to these uh, extensions. Yeah. And we can create channel ah. based on this filament uh, result. Ah, okay. Then you can make the surface based surface. on that new channel. 
Yeah. Then use that surface to to calculate the closest distance with other surface or spots. Yeah, that's really great. Okay. Yeah, so this specific extension is for that purpose. Create okay. a channel. Yeah. Oh, great. Ah, uh, then the next question is. Um, these are all 2D pictures. What happens when you have a time series? Mm. Mm -hmm. Can you, oh, time uh, series for, for yeah, filament. Yeah, so does it just create a new filament for each time point? Uh, if you want to trace the filaments, mm. then if you have a time-lapse movie, mm. then there will be the options to enable the tracking as well. Oh, really? Oh, yes, great. yes, in the in the in the filaments. So let me see if I can find. Uh, let me see SMD here. Yeah. So, so then, example. if you can track a filament growing. Or... Yeah. So this is the uh, time lapse, and mm -hmm. if I have this is too complicated. I think this one is not good. But if I go to filaments, so here mm -hmm. I can track as well. Yeah. Yeah. And after the automatic tracking, or you can either do in the manual or automatic by by you know manual correction is both where you can do okay. uh, for the tracking. Mm 